everybody's sick. We don't have enough people to take care of the patients. Stephanie Davis quit her job at Bayfront Health in St. Petersburg last year when she says there just weren't enough nurses and technicians to care for patients at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's bad. Yeah, the staffing is horrible. It's not appropriate and it's not safe for the patients. But the pandemic merely enlarged a festering wound in the healthcare industry that's been growing for more than a decade. We absolutely have a crisis right now. Mary Mayhew heads the Florida Hospital Association and says the nursing shortage is now 16,000 in Florida. Now a new report is out that shows that Florida's nursing crisis is going to get much worse. In fact, by the year 2035, it's projected that there will be a shortage in the state of nearly 60,000 nurses. The breakdown looks like this, a shortage of 37,400 registered nurses or RNs and 21,700 licensed practical nurses or LPNs in 14 years. So we need to act now uh, to address uh, short term immediate demands over the next 12, 24 months. But we need to be laying a strong foundation to increase the supply to meet the future need. To do that will require not just increasing capacity at nursing schools, like the Colleges of Nursing at UCF, Valencia, and Seminole State. It'll likely demand aggressive recruitment, not unlike the plan unveiled by Governor Ron DeSantis to ask lawmakers to approve $5,000 bonuses paid to new police officers and those recruited from out of state. Um, but it's kind of an all hands on deck approach. Hospitals definitely have a role. Nursing facilities have a role. Private hospital, uh, excuse me, private offices also have a role. I mean, there's there's a lot of different roles here. So nursing is a real opportunity for people out there, a great career for people who are interested in it. And a career with typical salaries ranging from forty to $75,000 a year. Greg Fox, West 2 News.